So, Kaden, tell me, American Ninja Warrior, you were on this week. You were amazing. Tell us all about how you got on in the first place and how it all began for you. Yeah, uh, I just started Ninja Warrior by watching the TV show. It looked like so much just a big playground, and I wanted to get on it. So we drove about an hour to my first Ninja Gym, started there, and I was just hooked ever since. That's amazing. And how did you decide to do the TV show? How did that process work? So I actually competed on American Ninja Warrior Junior a few years ago, and I had so much fun then. And a couple seasons ago, they lowered the age limit down to 15. And I was one of the lucky few to get on then, and it's been going great ever since. That is, and you do, you do amazing every single time. I mean, I'm always in awe of watching you. And what would you say was the biggest challenge about doing the show as a whole? Uh, definitely the the mental side of it with all the lights and cameras and audience it's definitely weird with having a huge audience watch you compete I can imagine yeah so how do you prepare in that sense to make yourself mentally prepared for it yeah I do a lot of local competitions with the cameras but it started for the tv show Nice. And tell me about this season and competing. What was going through your mind? I mean, you're a little bit older now. You're, you know, you're obviously stronger. You've been doing this for a while. How's it feel to be doing this for another year and making it so far? Yeah, it's so cool with Ninja because it just keeps evolving and you can never actually like stay on top of it. Now this year they have side by side racing in it, which is pretty fun and scary. So it's going to be a fun season. Yes. And tell me, which are some of your favorite obstacles that you've done throughout your Ninja Warrior career? Yeah, I love any of the lower body stuff, like the the agility. That's always one of my favorites. Yeah. And how do you prepare for that? Do you have a trainer that you, you build strength training with or do you just do work out on your own? Yeah, my is just kind of set up, get stuff and see how hard we can make it. That's great. And one thing I was always curious about also with this is um, some people, like, when they're doing big competitions like this, athletes, they have to follow a certain diet. Do you have to follow a certain diet yes. while you're prepping for competitions? Uh, my diet is definitely not the best. I love junk food. I, I don't eat too great, which sometimes doesn't help, but I'm a kid, so I'm going to milk that as long as I can. Yes, you do. And I'm a personal trainer myself, in addition to being a journalist. And I say, enjoy it all, you know, just not in moderation. I like every single day, but enjoy everything in moderation. So yeah, sure. I think you're doing it great. Yes. <laughs> and if you could create your own obstacle, what would you have on it and why? So uh, me and my friend actually host our own competition in October. So we set up four different stages and bring out as many ninjas as possible. So we've actually set up a lot of different obstacles and courses. That's incredible. That sounds like so much fun. I would love to do that. And before you began on the show, I know you began on American Ninja Warrior Junior. Did you talk to any former competitors or people that were currently competing in order to prepare? Oh, yeah, I definitely try to train with as many different competitors as possible and kind of see their brains, see how they train and just kind of get all around. And what was the best piece of advice you got from any of them and who was it? Um, I don't know. Everyone has really good advice. Just the biggest one, of course, everyone says is just to have fun with it. It's such a cool opportunity getting to go out there and run these such exciting courses. And if you were to go, um, some uh, junior American Ninja Warrior wannabe came up to you and said, how do I begin preparing? What would you tell them? Just train hard, work for it. Anyone can comp and accomplish anything and just give it your all. I love it. Yeah, maybe I'll do it next time. Maybe I'll try it because I think it sounds like so much. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm 4'10 with like little toddler arms <laughs> and legs, but, you know, I can do it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's amazing. And uh, out of all the moments you've been on all the shows, which one has been your favorite and why? Um, definitely clearing stage three back in season 13. It was my first season on the show, and it was just such a cool experience that I'll never forget. That's great. And what are some of your future plans with the show, without the show? I mean, I know you're young and you have like an amazing life ahead of you. So what's next? 
Um, I'm working on my company, but we're selling chalk to different ninja gyms all across the country, and it's been growing pretty fast over the summer. Nice. And what's the name of the company, and where can people buy from it? Uh, Bucket of Chalk and BucketofChalk.com. Wonderful. I'll make sure to post that on the little <laughs> on the um article as well. Awesome. And yes, and what's a fun fact about you that your fans might su- be surprised to learn? That's one of my favorite questions to ask. Oh, that's a good question. Um, I'm pretty nerdy. I love all kinds of superhero stuff and any of that stuff. Who's your favorite? Um, probably Spider Man. Nice, nice. You know, you know what would be really cool if they had a superhero night on American Ninja Warrior and they had everyone dressed as their favorite superhero. <laughs> they could dress as, dress as him. That would be amazing. That would be pretty cool. I like that. So what other sci-fi nerdy stuff do you like? Um, Any of the superhero stuff. But mostly, I'm just a big superhero guy. That's great. And I think you could be a superhero. I, don't, no, no, I take that back. You are a superhero <laughs> to these kids. And I hope you realize that. Thanks. Nice. And since we're in TV site, other than American Ninja Warrior, what are you watching these days? Um, I haven't been watching too much TV, just kind of training hard. I, I need to get back into watching some TV. That's great. What was the last thing you watched that you really enjoyed? Um, uh, I've always liked South Park. I've been a big fan yes. of South Park. And I'm going to let you in on growing up in Colorado. South yes. Park's pretty big here. Yes, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I'm old enough to remember the very first season when it <laughs> first awesome. came out, first run. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, and I remember everyone being feeling like all badass when they were watching because I was in high school <laughs> at the time and everybody was like, oh my gosh, this new show is so controversial. Now it's been on for like, what, 25 years or something now? Yeah, it's been on for a while. Yeah, so if you do the math, you can figure out how old I am. <laughs> nice. And yeah, so where can we fi- find you on social media, figure out, follow your career, and continue to support you and cheer you on? Yeah, all my social media handles are Caden Wake, W A K E. Wonderful. Well, I think you're absolutely amazing. You're an inspiration to so many. And I wish you the very best of luck. I'm really proud of awesome. you. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. No problem. You enjoy your dinner. We'll talk again soon, okay? Thanks. Yeah, thank thank you. you. Bye.